Hey guys, Tony Luce and Charles Babb from Network Optics here in the uh, Network Optics beautiful downtown Burbank headquarters um, near Los Angeles, California. Um, we just announced some new server hardware and we wanted to walk you guys through uh, what server hardware we have available and what the benefits and capabilities of each piece are. Since this is a 360 video, we can literally walk around the room and so you want walk to go there? I sure can. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So this 360 video, if you're watching this on YouTube, just tilt your phone and follow Charles around the table with his hands up like an idiot. All right. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. All right, here we go. So NX1 uh, is our smallest device. Uh, we only have three devices, just to be clear. NX1, NX2, NX3. So the NX1 here is our smallest form factor device. It's an ARM-based device, an ARM A20 processor has a gigabyte of RAM in it and it's designed to handle uh, four live HD video streams and run at less than 30% CPU. Um, cool things about the NX1, it has a 2.5 inch drive uh, that you can put inside of it, so up to two terabytes currently um, of storage, of local storage. It can also uh, use our storage backup feature and, and record in real time to both the local storage and remote storage like a NAS device or even cloud if you want to. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, on the front here we have two USBs, uh, a LAN connection, and an HDMI. Now the HDMI currently does not work. We do not uh, support a display, but we're working on a light client. It should be released here in the next two, three months that will allow you to plug this into any display and drive a full HD monitor as well. So, other cool thing about the NX1 is that it's designed to be a completely modular, flexible approach to video uh, management. So, every device is four channels, um, and it can fail over two other NX1 devices. So that means that I can have uh, a system with like 12 cameras in it, and two of the three devices can fail, and the system will still be up, it'll still be recording, still be doing what it's supposed to be doing. So it, it gives you 67% system redundancy, basically. Um, so that's the NX1. Um, great for small to medium sized systems or distributed systems like a safe city system where you want to, or even ATMs spread across the country where you want to have a lot of local small devices that are affordable running, but also have the capability to pull it all back into one big system and have good redundancy. Also, we can actually just mount it on the wall. You like could mount it on the wall, Charles. Here. You're absolutely right. Put it behind the monitor as well. That's right. It has a universal mount, so you can yeah. put it on walls, you can set it on a desk, you can uh, put it underneath desk, you can put it on the back of a monitor even. Um, it's got a Vespa compatible mount on it, so it's a really cool little piece of hardware. So NX1. Next device is the NX2. Uh, the NX2 is our dual purpose kind of workstation and, and server storage all at the same time. It's designed for basically small to medium size systems where they want to have uh, you know one device that the operator uses to both record video and uh, view and manage the system. So the NX2, if you open it up here, you can see it has four 3.5 inch drives in it. Um, supports RAID 0, 1, uh, 5, 6. Um, so all the RAIDs supported on it. Um, it has a dedicated SSD operating system drive. Um, comes with Ubuntu Linux 14.04 LTS standard. Um, so it's free. Uh, you can also upgrade to a Windows 10 Enterprise uh, as an option, um, but again, four 3.5 inch drives, so you've got uh, up to 32 terabytes of storage currently with 8 TB drives. Other cool thing about it is it's Intel Core i5, it's got two HDMI's and one BVI output on it. Um, that means I can connect up to three monitors on it. We sell the NX2 uh, standalone without software. With, it comes with um, some, some tools that are built into it as well, like TeamViewer, so we can give you guys remote support if you want. But it also uh, is sold in bundled configurations where you can get a starter pack included on it, or you can get the Pro Bundle, which includes eight Pro licenses and video wall license. So you can just plug the sucker in and have everything you need for a system. So that's the NX2. Also, before you go on, could you tell me more about the video wall? For the people that don't know what the video wall is, explain to them what is the video wall. The video wall is the ability to uh, manage um, remote monitors from any NX Witness client. So if you plug this into two monitors, for example, like we have on our demo setup, if you look around behind you, um, 
that you can go into video wall mode and then you can control what's being displayed on those monitors from any other NX Witness client. So it's pretty cool for like control room environments or in like grocery stores if you wanted to put up, you know, uh, uh, images of uh, the cameras to kind of defer uh, shoplifting or that sort of thing, you can do that, right? So, the last device we have is our 2U Enterprise Rack Mount NVR, it's called the NX3. Um, the NX3, as you can see from the front here, has 12 3.5 inch drive bays, so you can put up to 96 terabytes of storage in it, mm -hmm. which is a lot of storage. Um, I didn't mention before, the NX2 supports up to 128 IP cameras. Uh, the NX3 also supports up to 128 IP cameras. This one has a slightly weaker processor in it, it's the Core i3, um, and that's because we, we don't see a lot of people driving monitors off of this. A device. It's more of a put it in the rack and record lots and lots of data. Um, so 12 hard drives, a, a dedicated SSD OS drive, 128 gigabyte SSD drive. Again, comes with Ubuntu Linux standard, can upgrade to Windows 10 Enterprise as well. Um, this one also has uh, dual power supplies, redundant power supplies, um, and dual NIC on it. So you have double network connection and double power supply, which are the two most common things that fail uh, on, on an enterprise rack system. Um, all these devices can be mixed in a system. All of them are pretty much plug and play. You plug them in and you, you merge them to your existing system or you create a new system and it's really fast and easy to do. Um, that's about it. The NX1, the NX2, and the NX3. Uh, simple NX plug and play server hardware.